Greetings Internet, and welcome back for another Oxlimations presentation. For today's video, if it wasn't evidenced from the title down below, we're going to be taking a look at a, a taco-themed dessert. Because you see, the other day when my friends and I were over at the store going shopping, as we do, we happened to stumble across something that I had never heard of, and well, to kind of give you all the, the rundown of the bullet points, we were walking from the back of the store toward the front, and you know how they have all those like um, displays in the middle of all the different food stuffs? One of them was for old El Paso taco shells and other things. And my friend, they spotted this thing and just stopped the three of us dead in our tracks. Thankfully there was no one behind us. And was just like, are you seeing that? And I looked and I was seeing that. And that which we were seeing was this nonsense. Old El Paso Cinnamon Toast Crunch Dessert Taco Shells Blasted with Cine Dust. By the way, not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. Just want to clear that out. So, um, yeah, I saw this, and it was just strange enough that I was like, I have to know. I must know. Are these actually any good, or is this just going to be some random cash grab from Old El Paso? So, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we're going to find out here today. So to start things off, as we usually do, we're going to go through the nutrition facts on the side of the box for those calorie conscious, like myself. Nutrition facts are as follows. There are five servings per container, and your serving size is two shells, or 31 grams. And the amount of calories per your two shell 31 gram serving are 160. Let's see, anything else notable here? No cholesterol. That's nice. Also, apparently, they're gluten-free. Um, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to be trying these several different ways. Because, according to the packaging here, there are two different ways you can heat these, but also it says that these are basically ready to eat right out of the box. So I'm going to be trying one without heating it to start off with. And then I'm going to be trying one in the oven, and then I'm going to be trying one out of the microwave. So without further delay, let's get this thing going. Alright. Alright, so... Apparently, these things come in a foil pouch, like a Pop-Tart. So I'm going to open it up. I'm going to get that first whiff, because I'm sure these are just going to smell like Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So they come in the foil pouch. And you can still smell the cinnamon, even though they are shrink-wrapped within their foil pouch. Because, you know, you got to preserve that freshness. Alright, um, give me one moment, folks. I need to go get a pair of scissors, because if I just try to tear this thing open, I'm going to break a few shells, so one moment. <clears throat> okay, we're back. So let's do this. There we go, got a nice little cut going right along that seam there. Alright. So as you can see, it looks just like regular taco shells, though I shouldn't say regular. These are the stand-up ones that you can fill while it's still standing up. Obviously, because, duh, those are the words I just said. Although now I just realized something, I forgot a few ingredients, so um, one more moment, folks. I've got a couple things to actually put in this, so one more moment. Okay. So... It displays on the side of the box that apparently, whoops, that apparently you're supposed to eat this with ice cream. So, for the first of the three that I'm going to be consuming, first we get rid of the little wax paper or plastic thingy, I'm going to be having it straight out of the packaging with a scoop or two of ice cream in there. Now, to preserve that freshness, we just kind of fold that back up and kind of do that. 
Okay. So we got ourselves some home-style vanilla ice cream. Sorry, vanilla-flavored ice cream. And also included in the, uh, the visuals here, it suggests that you put caramel drizzle on top. So that is exactly what we're going to do. So, yeah, why do they make it so hard to get into these things? Okay, so we open up that ice cream. And we put this somewhere, there we go, where it's not gonna get all over the table. And we scoop ourselves some of that ice cream. Not going to put too much in this because, like I said, I'm going to be having three of these. So, I'm just going to go two scoops. Get off the spoon, you dork. There we go. And spoon back into the ice cream. So, there we have the ice cream in the standing taco shell. Check and make sure this doesn't have a plastic seal on it as well. It does. Good thing I checked. That would have been, although that would have been pretty funny, me just sitting here going, why is it coming out? <laughs> All right, so we put that over there. All right. Now for the naturally and artificially flavored caramel syrup. Give you all a nice little money shot of this. There we go. Maybe a little more there at the front for a visual appeal. Okay. And so, in spite of my sensitive teeth, I'm going to take my first bite of the taco shell as it is. So, to your health, everyone. It's not bad. Though I will openly admit, it's kind of weird. Because it's literally just the standard old El Paso taco shell <clears throat> that's covered in cinnamon on the outside. So I'm not going to give my verdict until the end. At this point though, I'm going to cut the recording, finish this off, and then we'll come back when I oven bake the second one. So be right back. All right, so for the next one of the three that I'm going to be trying, we're going to be oven baking this one. So you'll want to preheat the oven to 325 degrees, right about there. And then, let's see, you'll want to bake this thing for four to five minutes or until crisp. So before we get to that point, we actually kind of have to put the, um, the shell in the oven. So let's do that. I'm going to try and get it to stand up in there. Right. Gently now, center rack. set that timer. I'm going to say four minutes after I hit the thingy. There we go. And soon we eat. All right, so it's been four minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that oven off. There we go. Let y'all get a look at that. Although I'm sure it really hasn't changed much. All right, so now that it's been heated up, Let's go ahead and get back over to the table 
where I am going to do my best to try it with ice cream. So, be right back. All right, so here we have our freshly heated taco shell. And we're going to do what we did before. Second verse, same as the first. Gonna get ourselves a couple scoops of that vanilla a soft serve. Oh, it kind of curled up on itself. Come on, ice cream, get out of there. There's one scoop. And then scoop numero dos. Alright. And as before, a little bit of that caramel drizzle. That is a low flying plane. All right, so we cap off that caramel and we go in for taco number two. To your health again, everyone. Okay. It's basically exactly the same as the first time, only slightly more crunchy. It might be that I might, uh, it might be that I needed to put it in the oven for an extra minute, but there is a slight difference. One major difference is that ice cream is is melting so much faster. And we have unintentionally created a South Park reference. The ice cream pooping taco. Okay. So so now with that thought in mind, I'm gonna finish this one up off camera. We'll do the microwave option. And then after that one, I'll give my verdict on which version I thought was the best. So, one moment. All right. Sorry for that splash cut to this, but trust me, we did microwave it. Just, um, our microwave isn't quite camera ready. Sorry again. Anyway, so same as steps number one and two, we've got our freshly microwaved taco shell. We've got our spoon with which we are going to add two scoops of ice cream, if it'll get off the spoon. Get in there. Okay, one. And the ice cream is already melting, so you can tell this thing's warm. And two. And let's add just a little more. That was kind of a piddly number two. So I had scoop number three. There we go. All right, move the ice cream away from myself. Get that caramel drizzle. Y'all have gotten to see enough money shots of that caramel drizzle, so I'm gonna do this one over here. Yeah. Like that, cap it off. And third verse, same as the first two. To your health, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, that drip. That was a nice drip of caramel. But anyway. Well, <laughs> I can say this about microwaving it. it makes it brittle. So now I get to eat this like a quesadilla. Um, well, it's kind of a step back in terms of the crispness. It's about a little more crispy than the, the unheated shell, but it's only slightly crispier 
Well, actually, no, I'm getting myself mixed up. The first one wasn't as crisp. The second one was a bit more crispy. This one is like the middle ground between that first untoasted one and the oven baked one. In other words, it, honestly, if you're gonna spend your time doing this, I would just go with oven baking. Microwaving, sure, it's faster, but then you get brittle, like, you get a brittle taco shell. And it's getting ready to drop. Dive, dive, dive. Okay. <clears throat> so, kind of quickly wrap this up. As for my thoughts, I think these are okay. There's a little bit of a hoop you have to get through, being the fact that it's a, it still tastes like a taco shell, but just with a bunch of cinnamon on it. The ice cream does help, but it's not like if you are going to get, say, a choco taco. Don't expect that kind of experience from this. And as for the preparation. One moment. As for the preparation for these, I would honestly go between either just having these fresh out of the box or oven baking. With a slight preference to the oven baked one. Actually, no, no, no. My preference would go to the un-oven baked one because the ice cream lasts a little longer. Because logically speaking, <clears throat> I'm sorry for talking about my mouthful. But logically speaking, if the shell is cold and the ice cream is cold, then it's not going to cause the ice cream to melt as fast. I think I'm just uh, saying the same thing twice now. But like I was saying, for the novelty of it, I do actually kind of recommend this one. And I mean it this time, not like when I was talking about the uh, cinnamon toast waffle crunch stuff. Because, I mean, yeah, sure, that one did have its own novelty, but that was just not great cereal. It got soggy way too fast. It basically tasted stale fresh out of the box. Or had that stale mouthfeel to it fresh out of the box. But regardless, if you can track down these and you're uh, not afraid to get a little messy with that ice cream just dripping everywhere, go for it. And with that said, <clears throat> I'm going to wrap this one up here. So I just want to, well, I want to wash my hands, but before that, I just want to thank you all so very much for tuning in and watching my content. I do, I don't want to touch my sticky hand with my non-sticky hand, but whatever. I do truly and greatly appreciate it. And if you like what you've seen here today, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. If you want to help out the channel, go ahead and support me on Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash oxalimations. And uh, there's a $5 tier we have presently where you can see um, outtakes and bloopers. I'm going to be uploading some of the, uh, the scripts for older episodes and a couple that weren't released. And, of course, something that I haven't mentioned but I'm sure some of you have seen, you can wind up with your name in the end credits scroll starting at the $5 tier. So with that said, thank you all so much for watching. And this is your old pal Oxlimation saying, see you next time. Later.